Continue to stay determined, always rise to the occasion, and persevere in times of weakness. Hey guys, it's Glam Neficent back at it again with the big it again. And welcome back to my channel, guys. Um, today, if you guys notice any of this already that's because I already did two videos already I like to do a lot of videos all I want to know what I'm saying but anyway you yeah, like this is gonna be like a quick video just me ranting on a few things um guys did you guys hear about or see that AliExpress stopped selling bundles bundle deals like they still sell here but they don't sell any more bundle deals and I'm like what's going on AliExpress like why you guys aren't selling any more bundle deals? Like, I found out from my coworkers that they're not selling any more bundle deals. What am I gonna do? Like, this hair, of course, you guys can see how nice this hair is, okay? This hair is from Melinda Doll Hair. Yes, this is from another company, but occasionally, I like to go to AliExpress and get me some, like, bundles real quick to do a wig or something like that. Or whatever, like, if I'm really saving money, like, I like to go to AliExpress. There's nothing wrong with that. So, when I heard that they're not selling any more bundle deals, I hurried up and went to AliExpress and I seen that they're like no longer selling it anymore. And I'm like, this is ridiculous. Like, how you guys aren't selling it anymore? Like, I don't know why. Maybe they're skyrocketing and they're taking off, you know. They be sending a whole bunch of YouTubers here to review. Maybe they're making a lot of money and they're like, you know what? No more bundle deals. I don't know what's going on. If you guys know, let me know. But if you type it in or you try to look up bundle deals, it's not coming up anymore. They're selling all the bundles single deal. So just single, like if you wanted four bundles of 24 inches, it's no it's not it's no longer gonna be like 220. It's gonna be $80 for each bundle, 90, 100 dollars for each bundle. Front tools are going up. Like, I don't know what's going on with AliExpress. It's ridiculous. If you guys know the issue, what's going on, the, the tea, please let me know. First things first, okay? You guys know I love my nails. I love getting my nails done, okay? That's why I have my nail popping Mondays and everything like that, okay? You know, beauty is everything to me. So, why is my nail looking like this, though? Why? You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's looking crazy right now. Like, it's dead as looking crazy. Like, yes, these are on, but they're coming up. Like, I just got these done two weeks ago. This nail is already breaking, as you guys can see. Um, this nail is breaking. This nail is breaking. The others are on good. But this nail, like I said, is breaking. This one broke. And it's like, it's so annoying because I'm so used to my old nail tech, Stacy, Because her nail stayed on. Like when she when she did my nails, she stayed it stayed on for a good month. Like her nails stayed on for a good month and a half because of the I don't know what she used. Like you know, if it, like it's, it must be strong because my nails used to stay on and I'm very rough. Like you know, with my hands or whatever. So it was like I do a lot too. So it was like her nails basically always stood on, and it's like now you know. She's on maternity leave and everything like that, and it's just I'm just lost without her. Like she's not gonna be back till like September, and I'm just so lost without her. Like I'm like, oh my god, like I just need me like a a good place to go to, you know, that's not ghetto, not dirty, you know. Like I I'm not saying all nail salons are dirty, but the ones in the Bronx that I usually like to go to, like. I don't go, being that I can't go to her, I don't really go to anyone else at the salon, at that salon. Um, I probably could give them a try, but I just, I just want her at that salon. So it's like, I'll go to like the Asians or Koreans or, you know, whichever. And they're just rude, like, as soon as you sit down, what color you want? What color you want? Or, excuse me, go pick your color. You want gel? You want, like, can I have something to drink? Like, can I have a, a little bottle of water? Can I have... A strawberry can I have like a piece of mint like can I have something without you like can we just make it a little bit more elegant like hello and then I noticed like some some places if you don't go there dolled up like this or you know like 
looking like you got money, they're going to treat you like you don't have money. And I don't like that. Because not all the time I'm going to Who's going to the nail salon all the time popping? I don't have time for that. I be going right after work sometime. Because I work at night and I come home, you know, around 7. Well, I get up at 7 a.m. And then I'll get to, like, the nail salon as soon as they open. And it's like, don't treat me differently because I'm not dolled up. And then when I come dolled up, it's, hi, hello, how can I help you? But it's like, when I'm not dolled up, you look at me and turn away or you don't even acknowledge me. Like, it's so annoying or you treat me like, what color you want? Oh, that's $15. Like, okay, yeah, that's fine. Like me, I don't mind spending any amount for my nails. And it's like, I just don't like being treated like otherwise. Like, it's like, for me, it's like, I wanna go to a salon where I can get my nails and feet done and eyebrows without someone rushing to do it, without someone uh, just worried about the money, without somebody being rude to me and telling me what I should do with my nails. Like, you know, and still, until Stacy comes back, I'm gonna have to do that. Like, I'm gonna have to see, find another place that's more elegant, okay? Like, they're just nice, like, I'm just tired of these places. Like, the last time I went to the thing, it was just dirty. They were using the same feet scrubbing things for people and I'm just like oh this is so nasty like I could go on and on about the nail salons like it's just so annoying I'm over it I just need to find another um salon I'm think I'm thinking about going to nails on seventh that's a um nail salon that Cardi B goes to is on Fordham Road in the Bronx in New York or whatever and I'm thinking about going there because I like how it's elegant and stuff like that. But I hope, like, they're not rude or anything like that, you know. It's just annoying. Like, hopefully I find Jesus and I can find a good, you know, I'm going to keep praying on it or whatever. Oh, Lord. But anyway, you know, that's all I really have to say for right now or whatever. Happy Pride Month, everybody. That's, I don't know what's going on with AliExpress. I'm, I'm really upset about that. I don't know what's going on with these dirty-ass nail salons. I might have to be doing my own nails. But like I said, I love you all. Thank you. Comment, like, and subscribe. Okay. And if you're in New York, let me know what some good nail salons to go to. You know what I'm saying? That give you what you want. That's respectful. All of that. Glam Neficent signing out. Love you guys. Mm -hmm. I'm rolling with the LGBT. Fuck out my way when you see me. I'm rolling with the LGBT. I'm rolling with the LGBT. I'm rolling with the LGBT.